Well, Centralia softball coach Jill Angel had a bit of a hunch. On Saturday, her softball team was set to host Palmyra in the championship game of the Lady Panther softball tournament, just five days in advance of the regular season, regularly scheduled Clarence Cannon Conference championship deciding contest that was to be tonight. With that in mind, the Centralia skipper opted to hold out her number one pitcher, that would be sophomore Bailey Douglas, out of the tournament finale so as not to give Palmyra an advanced look at her baffling stuff. With the gambit work, we would find out tonight as it would be a a great showdown on paper. Top of the first, Kendra Hens in trouble, but a great stab on the hill. Gets her out of the jam, at least temporarily. Centralia, Centralia does play to run in this inning, but Katie Serban at third base makes a great play to make sure it was just one run. Centralia leading at that point one to nothing. Kamara trying to rally in the bottom of the first. How about this? Sydney Creel behind the plate. Great throw down to second base. And Alexis Van Nostrand is, is tagged out at that point. Uh, threat averted for Centralia as Bailey Campbell just takes over on the hill, just throwing the baffling changeup and all the junk tonight. And then she would get more runs in support of her. This, my friends, in the top of the fourth is an RBI triple by Meredith Van Manen. And then later, the next batter is Jennifer Mills. She follows suit with a two-run triple, back-to-back -back triples of her own. That makes it four to nothing at that point. Could have been worse for Palmyra. However, Katie Serban comes up with a great throw from third base to first. And in return, this is Alexis Van Nostrand with the play at the plate. A double play worked 5-3-2, gets Palmyra out of that jam. Palmyra down 4 to nothing in the bottom of the seven, looking for runs. Katie Serban would provide right here the first of two runs, but that would be all that Palmyra could muster in this game as Bailey Douglas lived up to all the advanced hype tonight. She struck out the side in the bottom of the seventh, was absolutely brilliant in doing so. And remember, she's just a sophomore. Centralia hands Palmyra just its second loss of the season, and it looks like Centralia is going to claim the Clarence Cannon Conference title with a 4-2 victory on the night. Also tonight, Monroe City wins over Marion County 8-1 out of Clarence Cannon Conference League play. Highland too much for North Shelby tonight as Avery Johnson gets the pitching victory on the hill. And South Shelby gets a pair of home runs in beating Clark County, including a three-run jack from Lexi Will. We have tennis tonight as well. Palmyra undefeated in the near court. Quincy High School trying to ruin that in the far court. Number one doubles is Katie Fobble and Gabby Moss. That was Miss Fobble, and this will be Miss Moss coming cross court for the point at that point. More to come from Quincy High School. Again, far court Katie Fobble going to do some damage right here as well as she knocks in the stroke right there. Beautiful stuff from her. Quincy High School would win the doubles match 10-1. to Miss Fobble serving for the ace right there. We're going to apologize in advance to Palmyra due to the setup at Palmyra. Didn't get a chance to show anything but the number one court, and that was where Miss Fobble would make a lot of things happen today. She wins in number one doubles. She's going to win in number one singles right here over Megan Hooper as well. You see her with a great ground stroke there. Quincy High School gets great play as well at number two singles from Gabby Moss against Ashley Stamper. Miss Stamper holding her own. You will see her doing that here for Palmyra in the far court or actually in the near court, as it were, from the side. But Palmyra falls tonight for the first time this season, losing a 5-4 to four decision. Palmyra now is on the season 9-1. I believe Quincy High School is 11-4. More scores pass along. Quincy High School soccer with a big win tonight in the Gateway Classic down in St. Louis. Dylan Hosher, with six minutes left, delivers the golden goal against the Beacon School of New York, one of the great city schools in all of uh, New York. one to nothing, an impressive win for the Blue Devils tonight. Also on the docket, we've got golf for you today in windy, blustery conditions at Burlington Spirit Hollow. Quincy High School manages to put up a pretty decent score today, beating Burlington 333-371. to Colby Rodemick was your medalist with an 82 on the day. That was a great score given the conditions. Also on the docket today, girls golf. Quincy Notre Dame wins its last regular season meet of the year. I believe Quincy Notre Dame was 24 and 1 in meets on the season. Medalist honors today split three ways between Quincy Notre Dame's Jamie Earhart, Pittsfield Sydney Holly, and Quincy High School's Lake and Freeze, all with 41s. Volleyball tonight, senior night at Holy Trinity. Had to be moved to uh, West Point tonight because of a power outage. Didn't stop the power of Michaela Fecky, the freshman, with 16 kills and 23 swings tonight. That's a pretty darn good percentage as uh, HTC beats Danville three games nil. It was Griggsville Perry felled by Triopia. North Green knocked off by Brown County. Vanessa Markert with two S's with six kills on the night for the Hornets. Meridosha, no match for Pittsfield, although fun match tonight as it goes to three. 
College volleyball was Culver Stockton losing to Iowa Wesleyan and a big win today. We'll leave you with this one. A big win for the HLG men's soccer team as they knock off the number 15 team in the country. Two to nothing in Hannibal today. Ty Williams with a goal and an assist in that one. Big night of high school football coming up tomorrow. All right, we'll be right back. Congratulations to our Facebook fan of the day, Kim Ham. And don't forget, we nominate one fan each day and then randomly select one each week to win a prize. This week is a pair of $10 gift certificates to TCBY in Quincy. And it was an absolute delightful day today and this evening as well. A little windy tonight. We've had the longest streak of similar weather that I think I've ever seen in my whole entire <laughs> life. It's, uh, it's sunny and nice each day almost. We've had temperatures in the 60s and low 70s throughout earlier today, but tomorrow we'll be in the mid to upper 60s. If you want 80 degrees again, you don't have to wait long. Middle part of next week. All right, thanks for joining us.